Arno. What have you done? I know we didn't part on the best of terms, but to go running to the Assassins? My father kept you away from them for a reason. Their creed is like wine. Sweet enough at first blush, and in moderation it makes life seem more bearable. But drink too deeply, and you find naught but madness and anarchy. No doubt they've already filled your mind with tales of how dreadful we Templars are. That we would make slaves of humanity, and place our boots on the world's neck. You knew my father. And you know me. I can only pray that is enough to give the lie to those tales. My order has turned against me. And I am hunted by those I once called friend. I could not bear it if you turned against me also. Think of me, and be well, Elise. Paris, September 23rd, 1788. Dear Arno, I never thought I could be so bored in Paris. Can you imagine it? The greatest city in the world, and here I am, stuck in endless lectures from dawn to dusk. It's worse than that winter we spent in Strasbourg. Do you remember? When it snowed for a week straight, and we couldn't leave the house, and all the books in the library were in German. <laughs> we convinced that cook the house was haunted by some young Frankish prince, and the poor man refused to leave his kitchen without a rosary in one hand and a Bible in the other. I miss those days. The things I'm learning from father's friends are... Well, I wish I could tell you about them. Someday, perhaps. But not now. And not like this. But still, I find myself missing those days. Missing home. Missing you. Next time Father comes to Paris, you must persuade him to bring you along. I remain always your Elise. I hope I know what I'm doing.